Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2, and I am here with Kevin. What's up? And we are over in uh, Tamor's Steep. Yes, Tamor's Deep. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting the name of the zone. And I am here with my level 13 Fury, and Kevin is here with his... 15 Berserker. There we go. And basically what we're going to do on this episode is uh, start the lore and legend quest for the Avok. Now you can do that several different ways. You can actually go and find the book in the game that allows you to start the quest. This is the original way you could do the lore and legends. In fact, the only way you could do the lore and legends back in the day is to find the book. The book can sometimes be in very dangerous places. It can actually be in a zone with, with creatures of that level, sometimes even higher. And you'd have to travel there, find the book, study it, and start the quest that way. Now, whenever you kill a creature, it has a chance of dropping the item itself, like the Avok Feather or the uh, Talion. And then all you do is examine it, and that starts the quest. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to examine the, the Feather, and you'll see over here Lore and Legend Avok level 13. Now, it automatically levels up to whatever, whatever level you are up to a certain point. The, the Avoks, I believe, only go up to level 50. Creatures that came out after that, after those expansions, will go up a little bit higher. But these will level, these will cap out at level 50. So you can wait into your level 49, turn all these quests in, or finish them all off, and still get really good experience for doing that. Or you can do it at a lower level and uh, get yourself a little boost doing that as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit accept on this. Uh, so we went ahead and studied one. Actually, we need to study it again. Go ahead and hit examine. It opens up this little box, and it says this, this item can be used to learn the secrets of Avox. Do you wish to study it? And you want to go ahead and click on begin to study. So we got that one. And you can see over here on the right hand side all the things you need. Now, some of these items can be found off of the creature and picked up. Other ones can only be found off of the creature from killing them. That they can't be picked up, they can't be traded, you can't be, you can't be bought. Uh, you actually have to go physically to the location of these creatures and kill them. Before we go out to the Avox, I do want to mention uh, if you come over to the shop and you're going to sell something and you want to make sure that you have an item, maybe a backpack, maybe uh, for me I have this horn right here that we got off of a quest that summons creatures, it's unlimited charges, I don't want to sell it. If you look down here underneath the description it says winged horns uh, and you have a little sell button over here, there's also a little box that says not for sale. If you click that little box it checks it and says, okay, now you cannot sell this item by mistake. It literally is not for sale. Not just at this vendor, but any vendor in the game until you come back in here again and click that little check mark off. So that's definitely a good way for you guys to make sure that you don't sell items uh, that you don't mean to because it can be kind of difficult to, to keep track of all that. So let's come over here with uh, Kevin and actually kill some Avox. Now this can take quite a long time sometimes. You may get lucky and get all the items you need off of one or two kills. It's happened. You don't have to kill, you know, three different creatures and get the invisible ones off of each one. You can kill one creature and quite literally get three or four invisible updates off of just one. So, you know, you can get lucky or you can get very, very unlucky and be sitting here for hours. So we'll just have to see how we do. Are you over here with me? Oh, yep, yeah, you're I'm right behind you. I'm actually going to go over here and kill one. So then you, we should be killing at the same time, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think that works. I, I think you get a group update on this one. See, I just got an update there. It was one of the invisible ones. Did you get one? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, so they may not be group updates. It is an individual quest as far as starting it, so I guess maybe that makes sense in that regards, but I kind of wish they do more quests that uh, allows That's you to get group updates. Yeah, it seems like only when you can kill the animals do they... Do they that's so far that I've seen that, that if you kill... If it's a kill quest, then... Yeah. But, I mean, this one's a kill quest, too, and the items are invisible updates. They're not actually physical items you could pick up. So you'd think you would share that... You know, like, if the item had... Like, that one had an Avox spirit for me. If that guy had a spirit, you would think you would get the update for the spirit as well. And it doesn't seem to always be the case, so it kind of sucks if you're in groups that you may have to kill longer if somebody is getting really, really unlucky. Uh, something has happened. What'd you do? Where are you I just at? leveled up. I just leveled up to level 26. No, you did. Level 26? <laughs> it says 26 down here. On your adventure? 
Yeah, on the, the experience bar. Yeah, well, experience bar or your AA bar? It might be my AA bar. I'm not sure. That would make a little bit more sense, although that's pretty high for your, your AAs already. You must I'm be scared. I'm scared, <laughs> yeah. man. Hold me. I don't think so, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll pass on that one. But what yeah. is going on? Where can I see my level? You can go to your character button on the bottom right. It's a little okay. blue yeah. button with a little symbol of a guy standing in there. Level six, I'm a level 16 berserker, but okay, I must have 26 AA points. You can go into your AA points and see that too. Let's see, where is that? Uh, it's the third one on the right that looks like a little journal. Alternate advancement? Yeah. Uh, oh, I got a character development. I got a character development. What does this mean? That is one of your, I think, uh, racial trait skills or something that you get that you can put points into. I now I haven't gone too much in A's on this uh, playthrough yet, guys. Mainly for the fact that it's changed quite a bit since the last time I played. It's uh, almost been completely revamped. So I need to go in and I need to actually sit there for probably two or three hours checking out all the buttons and learning them all over again before I can give you guys any sense of, uh, of how to uh, handle that one. It is very, very different for those of you guys who started the game. It looks a little bit familiar until you actually start getting into the different tabs and you see that it, it's very, very confusing. But I think we can do it just fine. Uh, I just need to refresh myself on it is all and figure out where they put things because really all they did was move a whole bunch of stuff around and give it a new look and added a few new features and I don't know I mean I think AAs make your character way overpowered more than they really need to be unless you're going raids and if you're doing raids it's kind of unfair because they take they take into account that you're gonna have max AAs and it's almost impossible to do the raids without having max AA which yeah, kind that's, of, that's kinda of crappy yeah I mean it kinda of defeats the purpose of having AAs as like a alternative advancement if you have to have those to beat, to beat the zone, so. These guys are so low level, I don't think that maybe I'll be getting drops off of them. No, you still get loot, it's just some of these creatures will tend to drop them more often. Some zones are better to, to do this quest in than others. Usually, you want to do this quest while you're still getting experience. You want to find a nice little spot, and you may actually start the quest, you know, 20 levels ago finally get to another zone that has Avox a little bit higher and finish it off there. As I said, you can go all the way to level 50 without finishing this and still it will level up with you. If you started at level 12 and by the time you're level 49 you finally finish off the quest, it's going to be a level 49 finish. Not a, not a level 12 because that's not where you started. I mean that is where you started but it doesn't care. It just cares where you finish. So I still need to find an Avok eye, which is an invisible find. And I what, what, is, no, what does that mean, invisible find? It's uh, when you kill these creatures, they have items that they drop, and it says you need to find and study. Those are a physical items that you can buy off the broker, or trade with other players, or find it off of their corpses. The ones where it says I need to find, but doesn't say study, are items that are invisible updates, basically, that you can only get off of killing that creature and you won't you won't have to loot anything it just literally updates your quest after you kill that creature okay so it's kind of nice it does it basically stops you from getting a level one character going to the broker with a whole bunch of platinum buying the pieces and then finishing off a level 50 quest at level one without having to do any work for it it gives you those things, so regardless of how much money you have, you still physically have to go out to the location and finish the quest off, so I think that's pretty cool. Because as much as you may want to finish off these really quickly, there's a few creatures out there that don't have a lower level counterpart, so the only way to get those invisible updates will they have like a, a higher level guy go in there and kill the creatures for you while you're in the group and you won't get any experience for it, but you get the update for it at least. Oh, here's you some druid shoulder pads. What, out of a chest? Uh, yeah, druid shoulder pads. All priests, all scouts. You're a priest, right? Uh, I think so, Fury. Yeah, let me bring these to you. I think I'm too far away for you to actually roll on them, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna bring these to you. Where are you? 
And what I mean by I think so is like a Fury's not really the greatest priest in the world, but he can handle his own, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Your character seems to be pretty proud. I think you're going to be a a powerhouse of DPS when you get higher level, brother. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be that much of a healer, though, to be honest. Like, I haven't used my heal spell, but, like, once the whole time we've had him. So, yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely geared more towards attacking right now. I agree. Wow, this one's taking quite a long time to get. Yeah, I can't. Uh, all of them are great to me. They're not dropping anything. So I think that might be why they're not dropping anything. Well, I've gotten a few room. pieces, uh, even though they're gray, but we can move further into the zone if you want. We don't have to stay on this side. I think there's still a whole bunch of AVOX further in. Uh, yeah, you'll have to lead the way because I'm not familiar. Let's finish these guys off real quick, guys. Oh, that guy dropped something. Let's see, so yeah, I mean, it's just, it takes a long, long time for, before you get some of this stuff on occasion. Other times it's not so bad. Other times you can finish this quest off within a few minutes. Let's see, Avok Feather. I don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna agree it. <laughs> wow, these spawn really quickly. I literally just killed that one. He's already back up. May just sit here in this one little spot and kill these guys. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Other one's already back. All right, let me give you these shoulder pads. We'll have to see if they're better than what we're wearing. I don't know. We don't really have that great armor, to be honest. Our arm pretty much sucks. What do I got? I got 33 okay, mitigation and 5 wisdom for shoulders. Now, how do I trade this to you? Uh, you right-click on it. There you go. I think those are better than what you have on, then. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and put those on. Thank you, man. Hey, no problem. Let me open that up. No, it's not in there. Uh, here they are. So they are druid shoulder pads, which is perfect considering I am somewhat of a druid. I'm not a pure druid as I would imagine you would call a warden, but uh, you know, furies are basically the uh, the counterpart to that. They do a little bit more damage, and they're still able to do a lot of the other stuff that they're able to do, the healing, the buffing, things of that sort. They're just geared a little bit more. There I go. I got an Avok eye out of that. And you killed that, so it is a group update. Oh, okay. Even though you don't get the update, at least I get it after you kill it, so... It does help out a little bit. <laughs> if you guys are all in the same zone, uh, killing stuff, that's definitely a way to go. Ooh, I got a veteran reward. A plane. And out of it, I got a weapon rack. No, I put that in my house, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, what I was telling you about before, where... For those of you who haven't actually used the broker, guys, when you're going to sell items, you have to put them in your backpacks uh, on the broker itself, and then set the price, and then people buy the price or buy the item from you through the broker, and they pay the broker a small fee uh, for that that little service, basically, and that's the way of the game taking money out so that it keeps the prices down, or at least that's what it was supposed to do. But if you go ahead and put that thing down in your room, the armorer smith. Uh, cabinet or whatever it's called weapon rack yeah there you go the weapon rack if you put that in your room people can literally bypass the broker altogether they can go on there they can see you have it for sale they can see how much it is uh, and if they travel to your actual room go into it and buy the item from that uh, rack itself they get it for a cheaper price uh, you make all the money rather than having to share it with the broker and uh, you know it just works out better for everybody in the long run so that's definitely something you can do uh, to help you uh, get a little bit extra cash. Some of them will actually give you a little bonus to the amount of money you'll make uh, from the broker. So that some of them will give you like a 20% bonus. So even though the broker's taking a little bit of money from you, he's still paying you a little bit back in return. So it's better than just a, a regular backpack, is what I'm saying. So look into that. If you're going to sell weapons, get the weapons rack. If you're going to sell scrolls, uh, you know you can get the scroll stand. There's a few items out there that any kind of item can fit inside of them and they're usually really really good they also give you a bonus to how much money you'll make but they're usually pretty rare they're usually reward items or you have to do a really long drawn out quest to finish those off so yeah definitely definitely keep an eye out for those if you're into selling if you're never gonna sell anything which there's people out there like that who uh... i don't need that either uh... yeah i got agreed on that one. Oh, avok tongue i don't have that at all wow that guy had a lot of stuff on him yeah, he did. Just like you were saying earlier. 
I think he gave me something I could study. Yes, the talon. Yes. Now all I need is a gizzard, I think. Well, if you don't need that tongue, I definitely take that. All right, you got it. Where you at? Uh, killing some more of these Avox. All right. Plus, something I wanted to mention, guys, while we're here is if you look down here in the bottom right, you'll see that you actually have mail. Now, you can go to a mailbox, and that was actually the only way to, uh, to get your mail at one point. But now, you can actually come down here and double-click on the little letter, and it pops up your mail here. You and got mail. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie with Tom Hanks in it, too. That was a good one. But, uh, no, what I was going to say is I actually got a mail from Nibba Ooze, if you guys remember that from some of the nope. earlier videos. And I do apologize for those of you who actually watched that video. The sound was a little off, but thankfully I think it's been fixed now, uh, and the videos are coming out pretty good. But on that one, what it wanted us to do is find the name guy in the ocean. And you actually had to swim around out there and fish for a while until you found this named uh, fish that it wanted. Now, the guy who you turn that into is sending you a letter letting you know that uh, he's very thankful and says, So long, thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you click on it, it says, I mounted Veltra the Gorger upon my wall. Every time I look at him, I feel a sense of satisfaction. Even though it wasn't me who killed him, you did well. Blessings of the sea, Nibba Ooze. And it gives you this item right here. It's a mounted fish. This item can be placed in your house type. Uh, you can't see what it looks like until you actually accept it. So we're going to go ahead and receive the gift and give the server a few minutes to update. You will be allowed to retrieve this attachment. Uh, uh, see, so I can't do it because I don't have an upgraded membership. I actually have to travel to a mailbox to pick that up. So we are definitely going to do that uh, on the next episode, or towards the end of this episode, if I can find a mailbox. But basically all it is is an item that you can put in your house, and it looks like the fish. And for those of you who have watched my video with my uh, guardian on his guild hall, you'll see that I have an entire fish tank the size of a room set up in there with all the different kind of plushies and fish that you can get. I even have crabs. They all move around. They all are animated, so they are not just standing there all still. They literally look like the creatures you would find in a zone. They sometimes pave back and forth in an area. So it's very, very cool to mess around with the, the furniture and the, the guild halls and just pretty much all these little items that you can get. Dude, you're just killing these guys in one hit. <laughs> He's over there using his, his bow again. He likes to, you know, show me up because that bow is incredibly strong. No, it's nothing like that, bow. There's a beak right there. Do you need that beak? Uh, no, I think all I need is a gizzard. I'm not sure about the eye. You said the eye was hidden. And I'm not sure if I've gotten an eye because it d doesn't show up on the Lord Lord and Legend quest. So I'm not sure about that. Oh, yeah, then you already got it. You already got the invisible ones. They're usually, okay. all right. they're usually pretty easy to get. They're usually on, like, one or two kills, you'll get, like, three or four of those updates. Uh, they're pretty... They're basically, like I said, they're just to make sure that you at least show up and kill a few of the creatures. They just didn't want you doing it from the broker. And they kind of fell short with that when they came to collections because you can quite literally buy all the collections without ever going to any of the zones. And you can level up to max level just doing that. So I understand their basis for implementing that, that little thing, but you know it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense when you allow shinies and collectibles to really just do the exact opposite. So, I mean, it's definitely something to consider if you've already played the game and you're just looking to get past the first 10 or 15 levels and you want to spend, you know, 100 platinum, 200 platinum here and there. Uh, you know, it's definitely something you can do. There's plenty of, of collections you can turn in and finish that will only cost you copper for every single one of the pieces. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely something to be had there if that's what you're interested in, but... I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to do that route because you'll be missing on so much of the game. Exactly. And we are completionists. <laughs> An Avoc Gizzard. I found one. Yay! <laughs> yeah, you probably need one too, though, bro. Keep yeah, going. but I mean, I hit greed on it, so. Oh, you roll a one? What oh, are the... <laughs> you won! All right. What are the, the chances? The celebration, everybody. <laughs> That's the first time I've won anything from this guy. <laughs> My dice have been loaded this whole time. They suck. That, that is bad, though. Man. I, I, you know, I've, I have had unlucky characters. My my original cleric on uh, 
original EverQuest was like that. He was very unlucky when it came to rolls. All my characters um, are. I never win uh, anything. But now, uh, this guy has obviously been... Maybe it's just because I'm hanging out with you, though. So, <laughs> this guy's been very lucky. <laughs> oh, and there we go, guys. I actually finished that off. Wow, that was pretty quick. So I got a little book that does uh, First Flight. And basically what this is, is this is the book you would have to find on a shelf somewhere in a certain zone. Pick up study it and this would give you the quest this is the actual book so you can actually put this in your house and people who show up to your house or your guild hall will see that uh, you know you've completed this lore and legend and now yeah. it's up on one of your bookshelves as just like a little trophy it's just basically bragging rights to show that you're completionist and you finished all that stuff off the trophy on the other hand is usually a symbol or a weapon of that certain species so if you killed off uh, Avox, I think it's a, a spear of some sort, and you know, dwarves are like hammers and axes. So it's definitely to go with that class. Let me look at this. I'll even show you. So, yeah, there it is right there. It's kind of like a spear. How uh, long is the story? What story? In the the book. book. The book, yeah. Uh, it's pretty long. In fact, let me, let me accept it, and I'll go through it if it's not too bad. I want to read a whole. <laughs> a whole journal here. Uh, so we go on to read it. We'll read on that, even though I don't need it. Uh, first Flight, an Avok tale of their beginning and their first flight after their fall from grace. Uh, let's see how many pages. Oh, crap. So there's 12 pages. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that's too long. I'm not reading that. If, I, if we had been going through this quest and we were still killing the creatures, uh, yeah, then I would read that. But I think I'm going to leave that up on the screen. I'll go to the next page. And I may come back eventually, guys, and add the voice to this. But uh, for now, I'm not going to sit there and read that because that's a lot of text. And, uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> do, do, you still have the, do you still have the pirate book? You might be able to read the pirate book to him. The pirate, the pirate captain's logbook, yeah. That one's fairly short. It's only two pages. Where is that one? I don't think I have that one anymore. Oh, yeah, because I turned that one in. Didn't I? You may have. I still have mine. Uh, Black Shield Orders. Let me look at that one. Let's see, is that one it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's only two pages. Let me go back to that other book, guys. Some of you guys were pausing the screen, and now it's gone. There we go, so page five and page six right there. And you're still looking for that gizzard? I'm still looking for the gizzard. So we still got to get that real quick. Uh, we'll probably stop the camera here and continue to kill that off. Just because, again, you just never quite know how long that's going to take. Uh, it could take five minutes or an hour. I know I said that before, but I'm trying to drive it home, guys, because it literally is completely and totally random. The more people who are in the zone killing it, the faster it seems to spawn. You would think it would be the exact opposite with that many people looking for it. But, yeah, it actually does seem to be pretty quick if the whole zone is being killed uh, rather quickly as well. So now I'm on page 9 and page 10. And it goes all the way to page 12. So one more page for those of you who want to read that real quick. Go ahead and pause the video if it's going by uh, and you can't quite finish it off. One more. There we go. So we are going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Again, if you like these videos, uh, be sure to hit the uh, like button. Subscribe definitely helps my channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any comments, any tips and tricks you want to pass on to the viewers, or if you just want to say hi and that you are enjoying the video, you're more than welcome to, and I always enjoy seeing that. So, uh, again, guys, thanks for watching, and me and Kevin will catch you guys on the next video. Please subscribe.